Welcome to this chapter on partial fractions. Now, before even we can talk about what partial fractions are all about, we have to first get to know what is meant by the degree of a polynomial. Well, the degree of a polynomial in x is simply the highest power of x. So, for example, this polynomial, x cubed plus 2x squared minus 5x plus 2, is of degree 3 okay because the highest power of x is 3 all right likewise for this polynomial the highest power is 5 and therefore we say that this polynomial has a degree of 5 and of course this polynomial here will have a degree of 8 so this is what degree of a polynomial is all about the highest power of the polynomial well, the next thing we need to know will be what is a proper fraction and what is the improper fraction. Of course, you know what's a proper fraction and what's an improper fraction, isn't it? Well, here are some examples of proper fraction. Okay, so just what makes a proper fraction? Well, a proper fraction simply is defined as uh, the numerator being smaller than the denominator. So this numerator is 2, this denominator is 5. I mean, this is proper. You know this, okay? And of course, here are two examples of improper fraction. Simply means that the numerator is greater than the denominator, like this, 19 over 12. This is improper fractions. So proper fractions and improper fractions seems like it's easy. You have seen this in primary school. So why am I talking about this? Well, because we need to know how to identify proper fractions and improper fractions in polynomials. So just what am I talking about? Well, it may seem easy for us to identify which fraction is proper and which fractions are not proper when the fractions are in numbers. But how about fractions in terms of polynomials like this? Okay, How are we going to find out whether is this fraction a proper fraction or is this fraction a proper fraction or not? Well, very simple. Well, whenever we have a fraction that involves a polynomial like this. One polynomial in the numerator, one polynomial as the denominator. Whenever we have this, and what, how do we figure out would be looking at the degree of the polynomial. To be a proper fraction, the degree of f, which means that the degree of the numerator must be lower than the degree of gx, which is the denominator. Simply put, the degree of the numerator must be smaller than the degree of the denominator. It's just the same way as why 3 quarter is a proper fraction. Well, because 3 is smaller than 4. The top is smaller than the bottom. So this is proper. The same thing here. Okay, uh, The degree of the numerator is lower than the degree of the denominator, the top is smaller than the bottom, it will be a proper, proper fraction. Okay? So, let us take a look at these three fractions here. Now, is this a proper fraction or an improper fraction? Alright, now let's take a look. Well, the numerator is of degree 2, okay, because it's of power 2, so it's degree 2 here. The denominator is degree 4, and therefore, the, the top is lower than the bottom so this is proper now let's take a look at this fraction state okay now here we have the numerator of degree 3 while the denominator is of degree 1 and therefore of course this will be improper now lastly let's take a look at this this is an interesting one all right now you see the numerator is of degree 2 Okay, it's rather obvious. The highest power is 2. How about the denominator? You see, hey, you know, this is a linear power 1. This is a power 1. But it's factorized. It is already factorized. So, in the non-factorized form, okay, it is, when you expand this out, it is as well a quadratic um, expression, isn't it? So, in the non-factorized form, it is also of degree 2. So, this numerator is degree 2, denominator is degree 2, hey, 
the degree of the numerator is not lower than the degree of the denominator. So is this proper or this is improper? Well, it is improper. Okay, because to be proper fractions, the degree of the numerator must be lower. Okay, must be lower than the degree of the denominator. So even if the degree of the numerator and the denominator is the same, they are of the same degree, like in this case, this is a degree 2 and the denominator also is a degree 2. Right, so even though they are the same degree, it is considered improper. So now that we have a good understanding of what the degree of a polynomial is and how we identify proper or improper fractions, we can now start to talk about what partial fractions are all about.